Uh, UNC Wilmington played a really good game tonight, uh, gave us a lot of difficulties, particularly uh, with their pressure defense. And, and you know, we're, we think we only had eight assists on the night, and it's something that we had really been focusing on recently, being able to share the basketball and, and have a high uh, field goal assist ratio in terms of that percentage. And, you know, they took us out of it, and a lot of credit to them. Um, and and Tazarian White was uh, phenomenal. You know, he was a difference in the game, and, and I think they, they have a really good basketball team, and uh, the results showed it. You know, I mean, I, again, I think Coach Tittle does a great job, and I think the way they defend is 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 a is a is a great style of defense, and I think it works for them. And I mean, I think we have some subtle differences, and they, I know, but I do think there's some similarities in the style of play. Uh, you know, I don't think right now we're not built. To, to be able to deny all over the floor uh, like they do, you know, I think that's just, you know, I think they do a fantastic job with that. And I think there's moments we've had this season uh, where we've been able to be more aggressive and create um, some offense with our defense, which you and I have spoken a lot about. Um, but but tonight wasn't one of those nights. But again, uh, you know, it, we have to be able to make free throws. I mean, you have to be able to capitalize when you're at the free throw line. And, and if you can do that and you can keep the game even a little bit closer, that middle stretch, of, you know, the 10-minute mark of the first half through the middle of the second half, it really got away with us and, and we didn't help ourselves in that way either. But uh, th their defense was really good. There's no doubt about it that the foul trouble in the first half affected us because I really did not want to pull Ezra out of the game. Uh, we, you know, we, we liked what Ezra did to start the game. Um, I think he was someone that we could continue to hopefully get the ball inside uh, with. And when he went out, he missed a lot of the first half with two fouls. And same with Jaden Walker. Those were two guys that uh, really at the rim and defensively, they were well suited to, for, to give us a chance to compete. And those two guys going out in the first half the way they did and with the amount of time that they missed, you know, once you get to the second half, you know, you're going to play guys with three, four fouls. But I really, in terms of being in foul trouble, the latter half of the first half is where we really got in trouble and it's where the game kind of, you know, got away from us. Yeah, I think the, the big thing is us to find a group of guys that hopefully understand that that's got to be the standard of intensity. That doesn't mean the execution is going to be perfect. That doesn't mean that the score is going to go in our favor. But in terms of the standard of intensity on offense, the standard of intensity on defense, the standard of intensity, most importantly, competing, we have to find a, a core group of guys. And, you know, we've been there in moments this year, win or lose. And but but what you just said, you hit it on the head that that at some point we got to get to where our guys understand that that standard of intensity across the board is what we expect for 40 minutes. And the guys that want to buy into that are the guys that can, you know, hopefully help us build a strong program.